So now you have gained insight into how grapes are processed once they are received into the winery, along with important characteristics of fermentation and the significance of flavour chemistry in the winemaking process. So it's about time for this week's funky fact. Have you ever wondered why red wine is sometimes suggested as a cause of headaches? And it's not just related to overconsumption. The red wine headache has been recognised as a phenomenon by ancient civilizations and more recently investigated by many researchers trying to establish what is the trigger. There does not appear to be a single straightforward identifiable cause for red wine headache and quite often sulphites are blamed. However this seems unlikely as typically white wines have higher levels. Not that sparkling or white wine can't cause headaches too, it's just much less common than red wines. There has also been many investigations regarding biogenic amines as a headache trigger. Mostly often blamed is histamine, which can be found in wine, but is typically only at low concentrations, so its role has not been clearly established. More recently, the tannins or phenolics in red wines have been studied as another possible explanation. This class of compounds, or flavonoids, might be a critical element in triggering a headache. All red wines have them, as you know, and the body's attempt to deal with them might be the reason why, for some, even drinking a small glass can induce a headache. Whatever the cause, it's clear for some, red wine can trigger a headache. We just need more research to clearly establish why. So what are our topics for next week? Well, you learn from both David and myself about the final stages of wine production. We'll focus on how an oak barrel can really make a difference to how a red wine matures and what processes need to be put in place so that to get wine from the barrel or tank to the bottle for you to enjoy. Finally, we'll spend some time talking about flavours and aromas that are not supposed to be in the glass of wine. They can even make the wine undrinkable. These are taints and off flavours that are caused by uncontrollable microbial growth and by other causes that arise in the vineyard or through the packaging materials.